Hi Libra, this is your January 30th or February 5th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly's reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the World. We have the Nine of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Empress with the Ten of Cups and uh, the King of Wands. And we also have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Deer, or Sagittarius, or pretty much any Zodiac Sign. This is a general reading. I usually go with a King or a Queen or both, if one or both show up. So we got this King of Wands, the very last card. <laughs> right next to the deck. So I think that's the person coming into your life. Right? Uh, the King of Wands could be a fire sign. There is their Sagittarius or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, perhaps this person is a, a leader. Uh, they could be like a boss at work. Perhaps this person always has an initiative, somebody who is easy to get up and go. Right? And uh, here's the deal. There's going to be delays. There's going to be obstacles or there could already be delays and obstacles if this person is already in your life, right? For some of you, say the two of you meet online or say the two of you somehow get acquainted while both of you are socializing with friends. Say you get introduced through a friend and then you, you decide to go on a date. They ask you on a date, right? A couple of days later. If this person texts you or calls you and tells you that they can't make it on that date, if they need to postpone it, don't get discouraged. They don't have anybody on the side. If they tell you they're stuck at work, if they tell you they need to do something to take care of something, if there is an emergency, they're telling you the truth. Okay? They're telling you the truth. Don't worry. Right? For others of you, it could be more than just uh, a postponed date. Perhaps something else is in the way. Perhaps, um, I don't know, your relatives are not really happy about the two of you um, getting together for whatever reason. Perhaps you're from different cultures or something. Perhaps you have friends who are influencing you, telling you that eh, this person doesn't look like uh, the one you, you would be happy with. You know what? I think you should listen to your own intuition. <laughs> I think you should move forward with, with this person and uh, forget about what this person, what uh, what other people are telling you. There could be other delays, right? So let's talk about those delays real quick. We have the hangman clarified by the ten of ones. Those are the delays right there. The ten of ones is a card of a burden. It's a card of obstacles. It's a card of something that's uh, taken a toll on us. Something that's in the way. The hangman is a card of stagnation, right? Nothing happening. Perhaps uh, the hangman is also a card of a sacrifice. So yeah. It's not going to be smooth sailing from the very beginning. That's what I'm trying to tell you. However, here comes the Ace of Swords. The next card I came out, clarified by the world, and we also have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So the Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct, very honest communication. So again, if this person tells you they can't make it, they're telling you the truth. If this person tells you, you know what, there's other issues in the way, there's other obstacles, they're, they're being honest about this, right? But the good news is it's coming to an end, right? The world, clarifying the uh, Ace of Swords, is my happy end card. This is one chapter of one's life comes to an end and uh, a new chapter of uh, that person's a new happy chapter of that person's is about to begin. So what they will eventually tell you, all right, so now we can go on that date. All right, now we can move forward because those obstacles are no longer there. The world could also be someplace remote. For some of you, this person is at a distance from you. That could be the problem. And uh, it's not going to be a problem anymore starting at some point during this week. Um, for others of you, they're just going to take care of whatever it is they need to take care of with the world card, right? Um, the Nine of Cups in the middle is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And I think that's both of you, you know, finally getting together, finally moving forward and uh, leaving those obstacles and issues behind. The Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of victory, success. So, yeah, it's a confirmation that whatever those obstacles and problems are, they're going to be a thing of the past. You will overcome them. And back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal Card. 
And that makes total sense, because look at what we have in the potential outcome. We have the Empress with the Ten of Cups and that King of Wands that we were talking about. That's an amazing potential outcome. With cards like that, I don't think it's really a potential. <laughs> Alright, the Empress, I think that's you in the future. I'm not saying you're not the Empress right now, but the Empress is like a status change. The Empress often comes through as a future wife or a future significant other figure. It's also a mother figure. That's the way this King of Wands sees you from the very beginning as somebody they want to have children with, they want to marry and spend the rest of their life with, right? And uh, besides that, the Empress is just an amazing card to have. It always is. Because uh, the Empress is abundance in its purest form, and uh, it's one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Ten of Cups in the middle is the happily ever after card. It's a family card. It's one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So, yeah, don't worry about whatever those obstacles are, um, Libra, in the beginning of this journey, because it's, uh, you know, you will overcome it or they will overcome it, and uh, the rest is history. You, you have such an amazing future together that's coming up. I'm not even going to do an extended for you, Libra, because that would be a waste of time. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Libra, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Eight of Wands, uh, we have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, Wi-Fi by the Lovers, and we also have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a uh, Fire Sign, Nearest, Nearest, Sagittarius, and a Gemini. Yeah, we've got two queens, Libra. <laughs> the Queen of Cups and uh, the Queen of Wands. And you will have some kind of a choice to make when it comes to those two. And uh, the first card I came out is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of travel or a card of communication. Or it could be both. Right? So I think um, each of those two people, the Queen of Cups and uh, the Queen of Wands, they will offer you something. I don't know how you are affiliated, associated with those two. They could be friends, relatives, I don't know. Perhaps each of them wants you to come to go shopping with them <laughs> or to go on a trip together with them you know especially if they're your siblings so you'll have to decide which of the two you wanna hang out with or I don't know what what this is all about right we got the two of swords clarified by the lovers the lovers could be yet another person the lovers is a Gemini card but you know the two of swords is a card of a crossroads and uh, the Lovers is also a card of a choice. So yeah, Libra, you will have a choice to make. Which, which of the two people you want to uh, spend time with. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have uh, the Devil, <clears throat> clarified by the Emperor. We have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Page of Wands. We also have the Eight of Cups, lifeified by the Nine of Wands, and we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, <clears throat> Capricorn, Aries, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This is major, Libra. Somebody is coming back this week, and uh, this is somebody whom you were unable to resist in the past, and this week you will finally be able to stop this. You will finally be able to say no to detach from this person to um, break those chains that we see in the Devil card, right? He's, I know the Devil is partially blocked, but there's two people chained uh, together, but uh, those chains are kind of loose, if you take a closer look, right? And um, the Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but most likely it's that connection that you just couldn't resist anymore, you felt like you were hooked to this person, right? Uh, the, the, the Emperor clarifying it, perhaps this was somebody who is a tyrant, Somebody who is, um, you know, who is always right. It could have been your ex-husband or ex-significant other, right? Um, the emperor is large and in charge, so perhaps you know they were like a commander of some of some sort, right? And uh, we, the six of cups got fed by the page of once. This is them, you know, reaching out to you again. And I don't think this is the first time they're gonna come back to into your life. Um, but uh, this time uh, you will be finally able to walk away. We got the Eight of Cups, if I buy the Nine of Wands right there next to the deck, and uh, that's you walking away because you have finally learned your lesson. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior, right? And uh, it's a card of uh, you not trusting this person anymore. This is you putting up a wall between yourself and this person. So, yeah, finally breaking those chains. 
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Uh, Libra this week, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Justice, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You know, this looked so good, I did not even want to clarify anything. Here's the deal. There is only one major arcana card on the table, Libra, and that's Justice card. Justice is your major arcana card, right? That's you. <laughs> I believe uh, the person to the left from Justice, the person in the Nine of Pentacles, that's you as well. And the person in the Fourth Pentacles to the right from Justice, you've guessed it. That's also you. And here's the deal. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the best cards when that you can potentially get when it comes to work, business, and finances. The person in the Nine of Pentacles is enjoying their financial situation. This is a card of somebody who is rich or just great got richer, somebody who just recently got paid. And that's what it kind of feels like. It feels like a payday, like a major payday, more than what you usually get. Perhaps you're cashing in on something. Perhaps these are dividends or you could be becoming fully vested into the company you work for. Perhaps the company you work for goes IPO or, or you're getting a bonus, what have you. Right? The fourth pentacles right next to the deck. This is my savings account card when it comes to work, business and finances. What that in this case translates into if you got money coming your way, then uh, you, you'll most likely at least you save some of it. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with it, but uh, that's you holding on to all that money in the fourth pentacles. The three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of uh, collaboration, work, business, and finances, right? Uh, workplace environment, business place environment. So uh, essentially, you know, in a nutshell, this spread is about you collecting. <laughs> all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Libra. We have Justice, uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Swords, we have the Two of Swords clarified by the Three of Wands, and we also have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So yeah, you are here, <laughs> Libra. Justice, the first card that came out, that is your major iconic card, and you're dealing with this Queen of Pentacles, the next card that came out. The Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and, or Capricorn. And uh, this person, this Queen of Pentacles, is up to no good. I don't know if this is uh, the first time they're going to try to deceive you, or they could be a repeat offender. You know, it could be somebody who always comes in and asks for favors. And you, being the nicest person on the planet, always say yes. Not this time. <laughs> this time they're not going to be able to take advantage of you. Right? For others of you, it could be somebody who is trying to, you know, deceive you for the first time. The Seven of Swords, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, is a card of a deception. It's a card of somebody who is up to no good. Right? And um, whatever the case, you're saying no to this person. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, I think you're going to get a, a little bit pissed off at them. Because we got the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Out of all four knights, the Knight of Swords tends to get into fights. In this case, I think this is you getting upset, getting a little bit pissed off, and... Uh, Sh shutting this person down, right? And uh, with the Two of Swords, fight by the Three of Wands right next to the deck, this is you saying no, okay? And that uh, you're turning your back on this person, or you're saying no more. And that's how it's going to be moving forward, <laughs> all right? So yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Libra, for this uh, reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing day.